and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna come back to where I was, but it help me if I forget. Um, hello, I appreciate what you do. You want my license? You can check me out. I've been, already been looked into. Yeah. Sure. Uh, I'm used to it. It doesn't seem like this is not any official camera. It's not an official camera? Yeah, like a commercial. It, well, not like a commercial. Is it? Yeah, it is. Here you go. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a journalist. I'm a Mustang medic. You, you, you want to take my license and go check me out and come back? No, no, no. Unfortunately. I'm used to it. Oh, you are? Oh, yeah. I've, I've got a file. The FBI's investigated me already. Yeah, check me out. Do look at my ID number. You'll find you'll find out all about Mustang Medic. I'm well, not kidding. Unfortunately, because you're doing a commercial video. Oh, so not it's commercial. It's an interview. Yeah. Well, you need to have a permit. Oh, I do. Yeah. I have to have a permit. Yeah. This is federal property. So okay. I didn't know that. Yeah. Um. If you guys want to go down the steps, like over here. Wait, wait, we have to go. How far do we have to go out? You go down, right over here. Then it'll be less issues. I'm pretty so if we're on the gray stone? Yeah, like nobody will bother you. Like okay. Right there, oh, no, no, so I have no issue. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to do anything. Like oh, that. you can run me. I don't care. I'm good. I'm what very used to it. What are you guys interviewing for? Huh? What are you guys interviewing well, for? My, my show's called Mustang Medic, and it's um it's got about 160,000 followers. That's cool. And my theme good. is that one, we all need to be able to listen to each other. Two, we can respectfully disagree and walk away with respect and three we can all love each other and uplift each other because ultimately when i say thank you for your service and i appreciate you you're uplifted and i feel better about myself because i uplifted you so i'm trying to change the narrative in washington dc so i got here on the sixth and i never left and i moved to dc with my two girls and i'm being and i'm being and i'm being supported by the by the, by the uh the viewers and my i've got a unique perspective because i'm conservative I'm not about President Trump. I'm about the Constitution, which you're you're doing, which I appreciate. And my wife is black, so I I'm, I'm t I call it the Great Awakening, because I said the optics were amazing on January 6th, because in one hour at that building, they turned 75 million white Trump supporters into terrorists. So now, for just a little bit, white people understand what it feels like to be a black person, not totally as a black person in America because they're being stereotyped something they're not. So I'm trying to create an awareness for white people about what it's like to be black in America and for black people to say to re realize that white people just need to understand they're not all racists. That's my that's my theme. And, and God's been opening doors. I'm a Christian. I've been praying through. God kept telling me Yeah, God kept telling me to stay every day. My mother freaked out. She kicked me out of the house. I'm divorced with my two girls. Where I kept are you coming from? South Jersey. I'm not from Texas. People, people walk up to me. People walk up to me. Oh, Sergeant. Hello, Sergeant. Appreciate your service. We're gonna move. We we got the news. Now we're just talking. She's asking me about what I do. So, um, so for me, I'm all about federal people. And and I when I talked to the FBI when they were investigating me, I said if I'm videoing stuff and checkpoints and everything that are putting any of our federal agents or anybody at risk, tell me and I won't do it. And I said, no, this is your First Amendment right. And I, and I, I share that on video. I'm like, the, the, all federal agents I've talked to have been respectful. You just need to sh treat them with respect. If you run at them with a knife or you pull a gun, they're going to shoot you. So it's, if we just all respect each other, then we won't have to have all this hyperbolic thinking that's been created by all the isolation that's happened over the past year because of COVID. So it's a very unique time. I think we're in a historic times right now. I really do. I just think it's so historic because for me, I, I was standing, I was sort of sharing with him. I, I, was, I was at the, at the Washington Monument on the 7th, the day after the, the attack on the Capitol. And there were like seven Trump supporters out there. There's still a couple of Trump flags. You know, they weren't, there was, you know, American flags. And I did some videos that were kind of funny. And I was like, look, I'm the only Trump supporter in Washington, D.C. There's nothing going on. You can see all this on video on Mustang Medic. If you want to photograph my ID, you can look it up later, if you remember. But um, I, so I was like, there's nothing going on. And then I said, you know what? I'm going to change the narrative. And I'm going to just show people what's really happening in D.C. So I'm, I'm zooming in on police officers, motorcycle cops, taking pictures with their children, using the sirens and smiling. You know, I'm saying, look. 
there are good federal people out there. Not, they're not all out to oppress you. Nobody's out to oppress. We just have to understand that you're following the Constitution, you're doing your job, like, like you're telling me to move, which I'm gonna do. And we just have to respect each other and we can be at peace and we can understand each other more. So that's the, that's the story of Mustang Medic. Thanks for watching this short clip. Feel free to watch the full video right here.